Heads high is our posture. Against all odds, we gon' prosper. We know our place in this world. We gon' shine our lights till it hurts. Stay in focus. We know our day coming. Negative vibes, we escape from it. We know our place in this world. We gon' shine our lights till it hurts. What's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Urban Platform Speaks. Um, make sure to uh, like and subscribe as you come into the channel and check out the content. And uh, with that being said, I, I want to speak on a topic of these these ladies that uh, recently there have been some women in the news who like, for instance, uh, this young lady, her name is Telly Swift. She is the ex-fiance of the boxer Deontay Wilder, right? And and so she uh she rolled out on Deontay Wilder after he, you know, after he lost his last fight. Um, you know, she also claimed that she was uh she was intimidated by him, you know, uh, like she claimed that he was abusive. And so what I wanted to say is. Like sometimes the way the way these young ladies, these women leave these relationships, and I, I think is it, it don't do them any service, right? For instance, like when you when you when you think about another example of Tyrese's ex-wife, she recently she admitted that you know she regrets her uh, getting a divorce, and so like when they leave. You know, they may win the battle when they leave, but in the long run, I think it, it really it hurts them. It hurts their reputation and it makes it harder for them to find another guy that is really going to take them uh, them serious. And so you only have to to look at history of, of some of these women and how it played out in order for you to find out, like, it's important you know, while in the moment you might see a guy, these women may see a guy as as a lick or an opportunity for them to get some money. But in the long run, you know, it, it don't make them look good. Um, for instance, you could take like like this young lady here, Brittany Renner. Right. She had uh, she had a kid by a professional basketball player. Um, I think his name uh, B.J. Washington while he was with the uh, Charlotte Hornets. And so publicly, she drug him through the mud, right? But now that didn't make her look good. So it's it's going to really be hard for her to find a guy who is going to take her serious and, and a guy who's going to trust her. Because, you know, men see what she has put, you know, her last boyfriend through or her last fiance. They see what, you know, that what he went through. So he's not really going to take her serious. You know, um, I can come up with a few other examples. Like, for instance, like Corinne, Corinne Stephens. She, you know, she put a lot of she put a lot of men on blast with her book. Right. And so, you know, telling about her uh, different encounters with different men and stuff like that. And so I think I think when you when these women you know, they, they don't really consider like how this is going to affect them moving forward in the future. Um, you know, and, and it seems like the guys always bounce back, you know, at the time, you know, they may suffer some from, uh, some embarrassment, but in the long run, when these women are just trying to like, they win these battles, these little battles, but it, it seems like, you know, they, they losing the war when it comes to, like I said, these relationships. Um, Again, this young lady who was who was uh you know who was with Tyrese, his ex-wife. No other guy is really going to take her serious. Um, Brittany Renner, you know, she really um she burnt a lot of bridges as far as you know relationships is concerned. She, you know, she, it's going to be hard for you know guy not going to take her serious. This young lady here, uh, Miss Swift, you know, um, is not. It's not really going, you know, her, it's not looking good for her either. So a lot of time, I think, and then, so, I mean, if, for instance, if a woman is not really, she's not really, she's through in a relationship and she's not, uh, you know, she not happy in a relationship. I'm not suggesting that she stays, 
you know, but it's it's important. Like how you leave is very important. Just like on a job, you know what I mean? Like, believe it or not, jobs have requirements for how you leave. You know, typically you're supposed to give like two weeks notice. And and if you don't give two week notice or you leave under anything, you know, under questionable circumstances, then, you know, you are not if you're not eligible for rehire, then the next job will take that into account. And it's, it's the same thing in relationships, like the way you leave a relationship is very important. You know, I'm not saying again, I'm not saying that. You should stay in a relationship if you're not happy. But when you try to publicly uh, drag somebody or you try to publicly, uh, you try to, you know, you try to be uh, unfair and and you try to be um, just brutal, that stuff just comes back to bite these young ladies in the long run. Um, There's so many women, like I remember, uh, what's the lady name? Robin Givens, when she was with Mike Tyson. Back in the day, you know, she I think she was married to Mike Tyson for like eight months or nine months or something. Then all of a sudden, you know, she complaining about he was manic, de- depressive and he was abusive and stuff like that. And so she left the relationship and she got, uh, I think, around eight million dollars. But ever since then, you know, like she haven't been able, you know, she's been no dude, no man has really ever taken her serious because of the way she got out of that relationship. And so, you know, I think these women had, they're not thinking about like the consequences of their actions, how it looks publicly. Um, And even for women who are not famous, they're not public figures, right? It's important for you to, uh, you know, to watch how you, like the way you treat your last man, you know, the next man will, um, he'll take that, he'll definitely take that into account. Uh, men have a way of finding out, you know, um, how you how you treated your last man. You know, all they had they just listen to how you talk about them. Um, they'll you know they'll look at like how you how you respect the men in your family and 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 stuff like that. So, like I said, a lot of times these women they'll win the battle, but they'll lose the war. And uh, with that being said, man, just um. Let me know what you think about, you know, what's your opinion? Do you think that, again, do you agree with me? Do you think these women are losing the war after they, uh, you know, they win small battles, they'll walk away with some, you know, with some money a lot of times. Um, But, and sometimes, most of the time, that money is not even life-changing money. You know, it might seem like a lot, but, you know, that, that money will just dry up in a few years and then they'll be out looking for another lick. So yeah. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Also, you can go to urbanplatformfashion.com and check out the merch. Uh, we have hoodies, long sleeve t-shirts and short sleeve t-shirts. And, uh, with that being said, like I said, just make sure to leave a message or a comment so I can, uh, you know, I can read these comments and engage how how everybody, you know, what you think about this situation. And uh, I'll see you all on the next video. Peace.